journals and essays. So I'm guessing someone like Mr. Wenzinger probably has his own journal or essays that he keeps or writes before he goes to bed. I know I do before I go to bed. Um, so this is going to be an essay on the assembly line. And if you remember from last class, our, or last unit that we did, we did our who, what, when, where, and why. So I'm going to give everybody the same article. It's a little, this one's a little bit shorter than last time, so it's a little bit easier to do. And we're going to go through this. Remember, kind of skim through and knock these out real quick and then give it a full read. And then once we get done with that, once we get done sourcing this, then we're going to talk about it and each group's going to be assigned a uh, different question to read. And um, then we'll answer that question. You guys will give an opinion, try to defend your opinion, um, and we'll see how it works out. So I, I'm going to pass these out. So where was the assembly line thing? Does it say? Um, Henry Ford, that is correct. So Henry Ford was the person to write the article. And group two, do you have the what? Yep. Basically, it's an article about the assembly line and all the different parts and how fast the assembly line moved. And group three, do you have the when? April 1st, 1913. April 1st, 1913. Group four, where? At his house. Dearborn, Michigan. Yep. At his house in Dearborn, Michigan. And the last group, do you have the why? Why would he write something about this? Yeah, so people could take his works, right, and actually look at it and see what the assembly line does. That's why people write informative essays or things they want you to know what's going on. That's why we read textbooks so you can learn about history, right? So he's writing these essays, people see his works. A lot of famous people do. What other industries use assembly lines or what other sectors besides cars use the assembly line? And what does it do for that industry? And group two, you're going to put, you're going to have, do you think prices went up or down on cars because of the assembly line? And why? Why do you think they went up or down? In group three, your opinion on, do you think the workers enjoyed working in these assembly lines or maybe the factory type jobs like this? And why you would write that? In group four, and this might be the more challenging one, it's how did the assembly line affect foreign and domestic prices in the market? How would mass production affect prices on a foreign and domestic Five. How does mass production of vehicles change the United States completely? How will it change the United States if there's all these vehicles coming out? Yeah. How does the mass production of vehicles change the United States? Yep, and you can go ahead and talk about these in groups. I'll give you guys about three to five jobs. Come up with something. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is there a negative to it, Anna? Um, yeah, because you could be assigned to a job that you don't like. To do. <laughs> it's only eight hours a day, five days a week, for the rest of your life. <laughs> I like that. I know the Sherwin Williams where I used to work. They had a manufacturing. They have a manufacturing plant where they the paint can comes in. They put the paint in. Then they put the um, handle on. Then they then it stamps on down the handle and then they send it. Then they put the label on. I actually got to visit there, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of other industries besides the car industry, especially now um, that use this type of stuff. So all right, and uh, group number two. Do you think the prices for these automobiles went up or down, and why? Um, we said that the price went down because the, they, were, they were more being made. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So they were there was there's more in the market, right? So if there's more in the market, prices are going to go down. This you could say this for pretty much everything, not just not just cars. If there's too much of something, the price is going to go down. So and I think the numbers was um, like the car was nine fifty. Originally, when it came out and when it was being mass produced, it came down to around 250, 270. So, huge price reduction. So, that, and this means more people can have them, right? More people can afford these types of cars. So, perfect. In group three, do you think the workers would enjoy working on the assembly line? Um, we said yes and no because uh, yes, it could be easier to do one job than doing a whole lot of jobs at once, and then it, they would not be happy because you would be doing the same job every day for the rest of your life. Yeah, like I said, like I gave the example of how would you like to have a job where all you do all day is you um, take a box and you put parts in it all day, and then you zip the box up and then you send it off. That could get boring, but. At the same time, you didn't have to do as many different things. You could just, you know, do one job. So there is good things and bad things to that. And group four, how did the assembly line affect prices in foreign and domestic markets? Um, all prices went down to the assembly line could produce any product much faster, much more efficiently. You could also start to see your product first. Okay, so you're saying they can take all those, ex if you have any excess products, you can take them and export them to other countries? Yep. Perfect. All right. Group number five. How does the mass production of vehicles change the United States? How is this going to change the United States? It gives people a faster way to Oh, so you think more? So there's more. So there is a downside to that, though. You know, there was probably more. There was more death. You know, we were talking about um, that they didn't have any formal driver's license when the car first came out. So you didn't. You could just get your car and drive. Really, they didn't have any rules when the car first came out. So um, there's a lot of inexperienced drivers. I know there's probably some ex inexperienced drivers in here too. Um, a lot of accidents, but. Um, <coughs> But yeah, there's a lot of debt, but at the same time, um, your car, you could take the car and travel, you could take travel, vacations now, you could do all sorts of stuff, you could move from the suburbs, you could live in the suburbs, you could move from the city to the suburbs, travel from the suburbs into the city for work if you had work there. So Henry Ford not only mass produces these vehicles, but he's changing a culture as well. Um, this is something also there. He's just changing the whole culture. What you can do now with a vehicle is pretty amazing. You can get places and 
faster record time.